Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to another vlog. Today is Wednesday. I am getting ready to go to the airport. Currently right now I am in Chesapeake, Virginia and I have to drive roughly 25-30 minutes to Norfolk, Virginia to um, catch my flight. If you guys are coming from my previous video, which is basically part one of this work travel vlog, you will see I have my same outfit on. If not, this is my airport outfit. It is cold and windy up here. So I just have on this trench coat that I got from Primark when I was in Philadelphia and I got this two-piece sweatsuit on that I got when I was in Tampa Florida the agenda for today is for me to leave Virginia go to New York for my connection and then from New York I go to Columbus Ohio but um, technically I was supposed to be there already earlier but due to the storm my flight was delayed I do already have everything packed I have my base toe and I do have a check bag since I am on since I'm going to like multiple office, I wanted to make sure everything fit. So that's why too I'm leaving early so I can make sure I get something to eat um, and be able to check my bag. One thing that I always do when I am traveling, I have like all my trash here so I know what's like trash of course. And then I always look back over my bed to make sure, you know, I don't leave anything because I've left my calendar one time and it's not good you know to leave anything but oh yeah let me take this pillow place this pillow back on the bed and yeah just do like a quick overview just to make sure you don't accidentally forget anything that you need but um i don't know the next time i'll talk to you guys i'll probably pick up because i do want you guys to see how the sushi looked from this place um that i got some from yesterday it was absolutely delicious just in case you're in the chesapeake area but um other than that we'll talk once we get to um, columbus ohio All right, so I got to the airport. I've been here now for about an hour. I've been doing some work. I'm actually shutting down now. I just went ahead and submitted my monitor report. I have roughly an hour and 20 minutes left before I have to go to the gate. Right now, um, I have like the whole section to myself because there's nobody in this area over here besides me. And I love it that way. I love to, you know, have just a little walk over here. See that? Like, there's nobody. I hope y'all was able to see it without me turning the actual camera around. But um, everything went fine. I went ahead and returned the rental car. Um, I noticed with Avis, sometimes they don't check your car back in right away so just make sure that you actually talk to a representative when you check your um rental car in and take like a picture of the mileage when you arrive to the airport to drop your car off just so that way you can have a track in just in case they say oh you haven't turned your car in because that's happened before to me it's been like a week and they didn't check the car in yet and i was trying to do my expense report so I had to actually call them and say, hey, you know, you guys never check the car back in. But what I'm about to do now is I just got my final drink from um, Starbucks. And now I'm about to submit that expense. Well, I'm about to upload that expense port to OneDrive. And then I'm going to upload my Avis receipt to my OneDrive. So then that would just close out this trip here. And now I can start off with the Ohio trip. Alright y'all, so I made it to the hotel. I want to give you guys a little hotel room tour. So right here you have the entrance door. To the right of that you have a full length mirror which I absolutely love because I'm able to look at my work outfit in the morning from head to toe. Directly across from it I can hang up my suit for tomorrow. And if I had anything that I wanted to kind of place away I could place it in here. And then below you have your ironing board as well as your steam iron coming directly over here you have your um sink i absolutely love the finishes here i love this black finish and also you have a 
large size mirror as well as when I do my mascara in the morning I have like one of those magnifying glass mirror and then directly over to the right you have a separate restroom here that can be enclosed so we're just gonna open it up nice and bright you have a um, stand-up shower black finishes as well absolutely love absolutely love 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 so now i am coming directly across i think this is complimentary right here i don't see any type of prices like if i wanted any type of tea or coffee you got your coffee maker up above we just got some storage area and then below we have your safe as well as a mini fridge. So here I'm able to separate the entrance area from the actual bedroom. However, I'm gonna keep it open all night. But you have your standard king room, one king bed. This room is not conjoining at all, and I absolutely love that it's not a conjoining room. Um, you guys know I've been reading my um, 366 words of devotional, so it's really good that I have an area right here that I have like an over, um, overhead lamp so that way I can read without having the big lamp on. And then once I'm done reading, I can just go ahead and turn it off. Over here, you have a little lounge sitting area, seating area, and then you have a um, table here. And also, as you can see, a nightstand with an alarm clock and another lamp directly across. We have the television and an area right here where I am going to eat my food. And if I was doing any type of work, like if I was standing an extra day, I would be working right here. And then we have this little artwork here. So as far as the view, let's see, because this is my first time. Let me turn the lights off, hold on. All right, so I have absolutely no idea how to cut the lights off and I'm too tired right now to figure it out. So I'm gonna try to let you guys see the scenery without having so much of the background light. So as you can see, it's just um, the nationwide building straight ahead. And then I don't know what that is over there with the parking garage. Over here, you have a another Hilton Hotel. Let's see if you can see it a little better. But yeah, y'all, this is the room tour. Absolutely love this hotel. Canopy by Hilton. So yeah, y'all, I am going to eat my food. You guys already know if you follow me for some time, if there's a raising cane in the city, I am getting it. So I went ahead and got me some raising cane and um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my spray down. I always look at my sheets. I look at the corners make sure I don't see any type of bed bugs and I go ahead and spray down with Lysol just to be safe so yeah all right y'all so I'll talk to y'all in the morning hey y'all good morning so today is the day I'm going into the office I am wearing just a blue pantsuit and I'm wearing flats with my trench coat. Um, the campus that I'm going to is going to be very large, so I want to make sure that I am comfortable. I'm taking my base tote with me, but I will say I've had base tote now for at least a year. And the pressure on one side, I, I think I may have to switch back to my book bag. But um, I am going, like I said, to a large campus. So one way that I have set myself up to make sure that I know exactly where I'm going, one, I contact the site before to say, hey, send me a map. Has anything changed since the last time I was on site? Such as like the location, 
Hence, you should know if they change the location, but sometimes the site can do things without you knowing. So I make sure that I am one, arriving on time, and two, I know where I'm going. Also, in my last monitoring report, I always write down like what garage I part in, and that's a reminder for me or for the next person. So what I'm taking on site, of course, is going to be my company computer. I am in the healthcare field, so I do have a mask, my portable monitor, my calendar, and some toiletry, and I also have some snacks here in this little pouch. Um, I did tell you guys last night that I was going to show you how the area looked in the daytime. So this is just like a little overview. So yeah, y'all know me coming from a little small town. I absolutely love these big old um, buildings. So I go ahead and do a quick look over my bed, make sure I'm not leaving anything because like I tell y'all all the time, I've done it before. Hold on one second. Yeah, like I tell you, I've done it before. So what I'm doing now is just go ahead and pack everything up. I've already requested the car, especially now that it's early. I know more people are going to work, so I know valet may not be as quick. So I just wanted to go ahead and request the car even before I was all the way ready to just make sure I give them time. And they are texting me right now. So I still have roughly an hour and a half, but like I tell y'all, I have been there 30 minutes prior and it literally took me all 30 minutes just to find that um, pharmacy area. So I'm going to go ahead and leave. If I find something that I can get to drink or to snack on, I will. Like I said, I already have snacks with me, so it's not going to be a um, urgent dire need to do so. So I will talk to you guys after because and kind of once again debrief. Um, I am doing a intra monitoring visit. I'll type the definition on the screen here so that you guys know what it's about. But when I leave, like I said, I'll debrief, tell you how. All right, so I'm in the office and this goes back to making sure that you prep prior to coming into the office. So I have my two screens up. I have my Word document on my portable monitor and I have the system open on my laptop. And what I'm doing is cross-referencing, making sure nothing has changed since I did my um, prep on Friday, Monday I have access, since I did my prep on Monday. And so far, um, the site has dispensed a couple of kits since I did my prep, so I'm just going back into my system to make sure the kits that are currently available on site match what I have in my system. But right now we are on track. I've signed the monitoring log. I've reviewed the pharmacy. I have reviewed their system. So everything is pretty much good. So I will check in shortly. All right, so I've done, I've already gotten to the airport. I'm just finishing up my monitoring report and sending some emails to the lead about the study. So right now it's 12 o'clock. So I have my layover is going to be in Atlanta. I think my layover is like an hour or two hours in Atlanta. So I'll probably get something to eat then because I haven't found anything that I want here. I just wanted to make sure that I check back in with y'all. I just want to show really quick how compact the laptop with the um, portable monitor would be. So you would be able to still travel, get through TSA. You don't have to check it, but you'll still be able to take it on site because it's small. And like I said, you'll still be able to have room for your laptop so that way you can use multiple screens at one time. All right, so I'm on the elevator now. I'm leaving the lounge. I'm getting ready to go to my gate so I can board. But yeah, y'all, this was a good trip. Nothing much really to talk about. Um, I had the IMV visit, with it, which is the intro visit. Um, I had to review the pharmacy. I went ahead and looked over the regulatory information. I made sure that all the IP was accounted for. 
and I also made sure that I did a walkthrough just to make sure nothing has changed. There are a couple of open issues that I have to address with Lee's, but nothing that is major. But yeah, y'all, that is it. So I will, I'm going to go ahead and get on the plane and then I will talk to y'all later.